ready to install OrgCheck in your own Salesforce instance and have a maintenance helper in less than 10 minutes? Hi, awesome admins. I'm Kate Lassard, lead admin evangelist on the admin relations team at Salesforce and your host of Kate Clicks Through It, where we don't just talk Salesforce, we click through it. If you're anything like me and learn best by doing, you're in the right place. Each episode, I'll walk you through a backend process step-by-step step and help you master Salesforce like a pro. Ready to dive in? Let's click through it. I don't know about all of you, but I have been a longtime fan of Salesforce Optimizer to manage the full life cycle of my Salesforce instance. Every month I would check Optimizer as part of my product management responsibilities to make sure my Salesforce org was running efficiently and securely. As part of the winter 26 release, Salesforce Optimizer is being retired. Uh, so if you're in a new org, you might not have even seen this tool or been able to use it. Just because Optimizer is being retired, it doesn't mean that as an admin, you don't still need to quickly analyze your org and keep eyes on any technical debt that's accumulating. So naturally, our first instinct on the admin relations team was to go to the community. We wanted to talk to you all about what you're using to be able to best maintain your org. We read blogs, we talked to admins, we did research, and we found a great solution, a Salesforce Labs product called OrgCheck. This free solution helps you identify and drill into the metadata in your org to positively impact performance and help you with maintenance. Let's see it in action. In this click through, we're going to install org check and put it to work. Before we head over to the app exchange, just a reminder that any new applications or development you're doing in Salesforce, always start off in a test environment rather than working directly in production. For those of you clicking along beside me, you can be working in your own sandbox or you can sign up for a free developer edition. If you want to try this out with your organization's architecture and automations, a sandbox will be the best way for you to get personalized insights. We'll start by heading over to the app exchange and we'll do that by going to open up the app launcher and clicking visit app exchange. I'm just going to click through go to app exchange. If you're not familiar with the App Exchange, this is a great place to find ready to install solutions to extend your Salesforce instance. Some of them are free, others are paid, and you can also find Salesforce partners here if you need assistance for an implementation project. And if you're using AgentForce, you can leverage the Agent Exchange for AI powered apps for your agents. So let's just do a quick tour. You can start off exploring top categories. Uh, also, if you hit this explore button, you can look by business needs, industry, um, if you scroll down, you'll see this button to explore the agent exchange. So that's where you'll be able to open up and find those AI powered apps. And then if you keep scrolling, it'll just give you some sponsored solutions and some different things to look into. You'll see right here where I left off is with org check, but to get there for the first time, I would head to the app exchange search bar and check in org check. All right, let's open up our org check homepage. All right, you can see the details of OrgCheck here. It is a free product by Salesforce Labs. Salesforce Labs is a program within Salesforce where engineers and other Salesforce employees can share App Exchange products that they've created with all of us. These are great because not only are they compatible, but they're well maintained by Salesforce employees. When you're on an App Exchange page, you can scroll down. A lot of times you'll be able to see a demo, uh, get reviews and details of the different apps that you're looking at. All right, if you're in your own sandbox, go ahead and click try it. This is going to allow you to select your sandbox that you'd like to install in and choose your trial type. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click get it now because if you recall, I'm in my agent force developer edition, and this is going to open up a window asking me where I want to install the package, uh, where I can select my connected Salesforce account. If you don't see your account listed here, you can click more info. Uh, you most likely need to head over to your trailblazer me profile and just connect the org to your profile. And then I'm going to click install in production, which for me is my developer edition. And click confirm and install. All right, this will ask you to log back into Salesforce as additional verification before selecting who you are installing the application for. Okay. 
I'm going to select install for admins only since this really is a product for admins. However, if you have any delegated admins or if you have others on your CRM team that you want to try and use org check, you can install for their specific profiles or you can even install for all users. You'll also see that my screen has an upgrade button rather than an install. And that is because I have a version of this already installed in my developer edition. I'm doing, going to click here because it is going to walk us through the same steps as if you're installing it for the first time. Now this can take some time. Go ahead, try it out in your org and I'll wait. Once the package is installed, we'll land and set up on the installed packages page. Here you can see the details of org check, including the version that we're running, uh, which is right here. And if you ever want to uninstall, you can come to this installed packages page and just click this uninstall button. But we just installed it, so let's take a look. We're going to head back to the app launcher. And this time I'm going to scroll down and open up the org check tile. Welcome to OrgCheck. At the top of our screen right here, we have a couple of filters to help us drill into the different uh, metadata types. So this first S object type filter is going to have things like standard objects, custom objects, custom metadata types for you to look into. And then this next one is going to have all of your Salesforce objects. So this is going to have all of your standard and custom objects listed out. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the account object and then I'm going to apply the change in the application for us to take a look at what this does. All right. In our gray headers here, we have the different review categories that we can drill into. I tend to spend a lot of time in this first one looking at objects, org-wide defaults, fields, and validation rules. Each of these tabs is going to have a summary page that's going to show you a definition of all of the different sub tabs that you can look into. Let's go ahead and start off with object documentation. On this sub tab, you're going to see all the information about the account object on a single page. We can look at limits, fields, record types, relationships, you name it. It is all here for you to drill into. I'll scroll down and you can see all of the different options that we can look at. All right, I'm gonna go right back up here to custom fields because you can see that these are highlighted. They have a score and a little description bubble. So if I click here, this is calling this out as a bad row. Now, this is really helpful for me as an admin because it's going to tell me why it considers this field as bad. And here we can see that there's no description for this custom field. So as an admin, I know that I always want to leave my org better than I found it. And it's admin best practice to go in and put a description on each field. So this is something that I can take action on, go add a description to this field and start reducing my technical debt. All right. Other sub tabs that we can look at with our objects include any org wide defaults, if you have any specific custom fields that you want to look at, or any validation rules. Let's continue our tour. The next tab is focused on users. You can see here we have users, profiles, permission sets, licenses, and rights. And again, we have a summary page to define the different sub tabs. User management is a Salesforce admin core responsibility, and it involves things like configuring access, measuring adoption, and troubleshooting permission needs. So this tab in org check is going to be the one that gives you insight into everything to do with your users from their activity, the ability to easily review profiles and permissions. And then my favorite sub tab here is going to be insight into all your object permissions by profile. So I'm going to click this little more and look at object permissions. Okay, this is a beast of a chart as you can see. It's going to let us look at object permissions by profile, permission set, and permission set group. So the best thing about this is that you can export it as you can any of these sub tabs from org check. And that means that you can go ahead and do a deeper review of these on your own. I'm going to gloss over the next two tabs because I don't have anything in this new developer edition for us to drill into, but you can continue to dive deep into your roles, your public groups and your queues and your automations. So a great place to go and look into and keep an eye on your flows. 
as always with the tabs you're going to have a summary page that's going to define the different sub tabs that you can drill into and you can look at these automations in the same way that we've been leveraging org check with row by row analysis as Salesforce admins, the App Exchange and applications like OrgCheck are game changers to help us manage our core responsibilities and to extend our Salesforce orgs. To learn more about your admin product management, user management, and more responsibilities, head over to Trailhead and check out the core responsibilities for Salesforce admins module. It's a great place to get started. That's a wrap on this click through. If this was helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other click-throughs you'd like us to do together. Until then, keep clicking and keep learning.